Okay, quick compare between the old and new scope. I have two clock synchronized with GPS. The one on the bottom goes to this breakout box. It's a simple serial port, 96,000 uh, volts, so it's not very fast. So the output is depending on the depending on the packet. It's sometimes long, sometimes short. So what you try to do is to decode. So if you try to do that on the on the old Rigel, the 1054, um, while well, you have to do something first, you activate the uh, serial decode, mat decode, decode on, but you have to zoom in order to be able to, to see the start of the packet. So you have to switch to shorter time base until you are able to decode the start of the packet. However, if you want to skip further down, down the packet, you have to move it, everything left. And at some point, the serial decode just missed the start and everything is messed up. So in order to solve a little bit of that, you could decrease the entire packet as long as you have a sampling that is strong enough to see in between each byte, then you could do something. So it's too small to be decoded. However, you could enable the delay instead of zoom. But now you could try to pick a zone where you want to decode. You pick your zone and now this time you decode from the zoom area so it's only the first part you see now the decoding is on the zoom part move to a little bit to the right and same problem again you could have missing some start of the byte and it's strong however if you move a little bit then sometimes you end up having a synchronized place somewhere else so you could go anywhere in to the packet as long as you figure out what to do i could go to the end of the packet and the end of the packet is somewhere around here let's move it into the window but now try to put it with the correct timing. So this is the correct timing. The start of the decoding is fine and the end is always carriage return line feed. So that's fine. Sometimes there is a longer packet and you could decode it. So that's working. It's complex, but that's that's working. For the new Rigol, you could do something a little bit quicker. Again, you could decode directly. Start decode, canal one, you activate it. You have to set the same parameters, so it's equivalent. Uh, again, this thing needs to be zoomed to a small enough shape so you could decode it. But you have the same issue if you try to move it to the left as long as you see the start of the packet it's fine let's move here so the start is fine it's always the same character but if i move it to the left part then it's the same issue you have to synchronize yourself but there is a better way better way would be to Unzoom everything. You have two options. One is to start the decoding and put it on the table. Decode, even table on. Now you got a nice display on the right. 
we see all the packet and you could go to the end of the packet I know there is 60 76 character until you reach the end of the packet so it's it's able to decode it it's quicker but you could also do something else which uh, this time is zoom so when you enable zoom you pick a zoom around here and then you equivalent activation you pick up it's, it's it's quite small but you could move yourself let's say to the start of the packet only they go the same and move everywhere but now this time you don't have to synchronize yourself so it's decoding from the top entire view the table depends on the entire view but now the decoding is already done on the zoom so you don't have to care about the where you put your window so it's a lot nicer if you go to the end of the packet we could see the carriage return line fee when it's there sometimes it's a long packet if you go to a shorter packet like here so the end of the packet 0d 0a always synchronize sometimes there is a longer packet but it's a lot nicer to use compared to the the old one where you need to synchronize your, your view.